Hey guys, what's going on? So, it's been... I haven't posted a, uh... WWE Universe mode for... this in a while, for YouTube in a while. And what I mean is, is that, yeah, I've been uploading daily, but the time span of what happened is that I've seen a couple of Monday Night Raw, so we have a lot of talk about it. So we're gonna continue on for this Raw. It, it was uh, Deadpool and Deathstroke, I think, last against... Now we're gonna go ahead and do the Triple H and Brock Lesnar match, and I have a lot to talk about because after a Night of Champions occurred and all that stuff, so a lot of stuff has happened. So Night of Champions, as we all know, Daniel Bryan uh, won the title from Orton, but last Monday Night Raw, which was two days ago, because it's Wednesday now. Oh, what the heck? Brock Lesnar attacks Triple H from behind. Yes. Ironically enough, I want this to happen. Anyways, though. Um, well, let me go ahead and um, start the match so I can continue to commentate. Okay, so on the last Monday Night Raw, what happened was is that Triple H came out and interrupted Daniel Bryan's uh, victory speech after winning the championship from Orton. Triple H was stating that his victory was tainted at the hands of Scott Armstrong. Because if you guys look at Scott Armstrong's normal three count, you would see that it goes a little slower and not a champion he went fast. So therefore, since the count was fast, the title is no longer with Daniel Bryan. And Randy Orton was going to, you know, extract some punishment on Daniel Bryan. Triple H had to hold off and help hold Daniel Bryan once again to go ahead and deliver the title down to him. And Bra Daniel Bryan said no, or an RKO to Triple H touched the belt. Then later on in the main event, it was Daniel Bryan against. Uh, I can't remember exactly who he fought. It was, I think it was the Shield. I'm, I'm pretty positive. Or I could be different. I think it was uh, Orton was watching, and. I think it was, was it uh, Seth Rollins? Oh, did you see that or was it Roman Reigns? Well, I can't remember, it was that someone of the Shield. Orton was watching on commentary. And Triple after the match was ending, Daniel Brown was about to yes lock on someone. And Orton interfered and the Nurse Shield came in. But before that, Daniel Bryan kept uh, pick somebody off. So he tried to put Orton in the yes lock and then the Shield and Orton began their attack. They kept destroying Daniel Bryan and all that stuff. and. Right is when Orton was going to put the chair at Daniel Bryan's throat and pretty much end his career. A majority of the, uh, not really a majority, but some people of the Raw locker room came out, such as RVD, Kofi Kingston, the Usos, uh, Zack Ryder, all those guys came up to Daniel Bryan's aid and what Michael Cole described as a protest. So, to Triple H's regime, what's going on? So... Pretty much what's gonna happen probably in the next Monday Night Raw is it's gonna be um oh my God it's a wicked leg lock um can't even tell but um what's probably gonna happen is on the next Monday Night Raw is that they're gonna be protesting what Triple H is doing for the company who's best for business or whatever and it's gonna be really interesting to watch but everybody at the end of Monday Night Raw was so happy of what the what people were doing to defend Daniel Bryan and it was ending Monday Night Raw on a good note. When it comes to power combined with technical skills, so it was a pretty fun Monday Night Raw. To be honest, I really didn't see much of Monday Night Raw uh, last Monday because A, I know for a fact some of the most exciting stuff in Monday Night Raw occurs in the first 15 or 30 minutes of Raw and the last 15 or 30 minutes of Raw. And when Cena comes back, I'm going to put it this way. Cena should have a opponent worthy of his skill and do another good match like Daniel Bryan and Cena because that was a good match. But um, I don't want Cena to come back from his injury and automatically demanding a title shot. You know how stupid that sounds? And that would be just a typical uh, WWE Cena mentality. Oh, Cena gets an automatic title shot. It's stupid. All right. Let him earn a spot. You know what I mean? Let him be. Let him. Let it at least be a number one contender instead of just demanding a title shot. 
So, as for the CM Punk, uh, Paul Heyman thing, the CM Punk Paul Heyman thing was like this. CM Punk defeated Curtis Axel. Given that Curtis Axel had to defeat Kofi Kingston in a previous Intercontinental title match, and that was a squash, but anyways, CM Punk defeated Curtis Axel and basically wailed on C uh, Paul Heyman for a little bit with a candlestick. And then, right as he was to deliver the finishing blow to a table, I believe, Ryback came out and just basically beat the crap out of Punk. And so Ryback appeared before Punk, and this was a stupid plot line. You know how Ryback was acting like a bully throughout the entire thing? So, like, not through the entire thing, but like previously, like in all the promo, you see Ryback um, as like a bully. Well, he believes that CM Punk is acting like a bully towards Paul Heyman, and he said he hates bullies, so he's being really hypocritical. So that's the whole funny angle of it. But the real angle is that Ryback is defending Paul Heyman. So right, so Paul Heyman has yet another guy to defend him. Oh boy. He's gonna spear him through the barricade. Oh my god! I can't believe he just speared him through the barricade! Completely destroyed that barricade! This is unbelievable! The count is at six right now. That's pretty much all I have to discover. Like discover wow. discuss right now. Um, there are talks, like I said before, that, uh, Goldberg is coming back on Monday Night Raw, uh, not Monday Night Raw, at WrestleMania. WrestleMania 30. Uh, I'm not sure when Rey Mysterio is coming back. He should have come soon, because the guy's getting old, and he needs to come back and do some work, because, if you guys know Rey Mysterio, he gets injured real quick, and that's the fact that he takes a long time off, and this is going to be a counter of victory, isn't it? Like, five right now. If Lester can get up, which I think he can. Maybe not. Okay. Yep. And the ref continues to draw close Seven to count. the count of ten. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Jesus Christ. Well, Triple H won. That's it. Just a wrap. How many count of victories have we seen, man? Especially with the spear through the barricade. And here's some highlights from the matchup. Alright, I'll see you guys for the next one. Oh, you know what? Before I say that, let's let's go ahead and see what's the next match we're gonna do. Oh, Money in the Bank is coming. That's gonna be interesting. We're gonna see Money in the Bank match. Deadpool and Wolverine. Spider-Man vs. Epico. Carnage vs. The Great Khali, Brock Lesnar vs. R-Truth, and Captain America vs. Batman. We're gonna do that match. This is a squash. We know who won that one. Another squash. Spider-Man and Epico. We know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna interfere because I wanna start something with Spider-Man because that'd be really interesting. And Deadpool and Wolverine are gonna do as well. But let's interfere in Spider-Man's match with Epico. Well, who should I interfere? Who should I interfere with, rather? Uh, I want to give Spider-Man a title shot. Let it be Orton. Wait, hold on. What is what is Spider-Man? What what brand is he? He's on Raw. He is on Raw, so WWE title. Uh, Cena. Imagine Cena versus Spider-Man. Wow, it's gonna happen. But I'm gonna do it. Spider-Man is going to get assaulted by John Cena. This is going to be too funny. I mean, Spider-Man would have won this match regardless. I mean, come on, Epico. Ugh. The next one on. Oh, yeah, I forgot you knocked up the referee. Doink! <laughs> Too funny. Here comes Cena! Hey, we may see more than we bargained for here. Well, the official's out, and this could be serious trouble for somebody. Cena's got Spider Man up. The referee's been turned inside out. Hey, hey, hey! Attitude adjustment. John Cena got all of it. 
Hey, hey, oh my god, hey. Well, we Epico's pinning Spider-Man. What the hell? Just what we have in store tonight. <laughs> Rivalry between Spider-Man and Epico. I mean, uh, Spider-Man and John Cena. Yes. Alright, guys, see you for the next one.